the Fujiwara no Nakamura rebellion was a short-lived and unsuccessful Nara period military confrontation in Japan resulting from a power struggle between former Empress Kokon and the main political figure of the time, Fujiwara no Nakamura from the powerful Fujiwara clan, through the support of Emperor Shomu and Empress Komayo, with whom he had family ties. Nakamaro rapidly climbed the career ladder during the 740s and 750s achieving some of the highest ranks and court positions. During the early years of the reign of Emperor Yunin, whom he supported, Nakamaro ruled the country de facto. Following the death of Komayo in 760, the retired Empress Kokon started to take government affairs into her hand resulting in a conflict between Nakamaro, Yanin on one side and Kokonan, her close associate Dokio on the other. In order to restore authority, on the 11th day of the ninth month, Tenpaio Hoji 8, Nakamaro seized the signs of imperial authority and left the capital at Nara for the eastern provinces. The group around Kokan reacted by mobilizing an army and blocking access on the main roads. The two armies eventually engaged in a battle a week later on the 18th day of the ninth month at Miyozaki on the western side of Lake Biwa in which Nakamaro was killed, putting an end to the rebellion. Background Rise to power Fujiwara no Nakamura was a Japanese aristocrat and the second son of Fujiwara no Muchimara, founder of the Nank branch of the Fujiwara clan. He lived during the Nara period, when the Fujiwara were struggling with the Takibana clan for influence at the court, under Emperor Shomu, who ruled from 724 through 749. The Takibana were ahead and the influential position of Minister of the Left was held by Takibana no Moro. Fujiwara no Nakamura made his first contact with the military in 740 as Great General of the Forward Cavalry for the escort of Emperor Shomu's tour to the eastern provinces during the Fujiwara no Hirotsegu Rebellion. In 743, he was appointed as consultant. Shortly thereafter, when the capital was moved from Kuni near the Takibana power base to the Shigaraki Palace near Fujiwara Holdings, Nakamaro, backed by his aunt Empress Komayo joined the Council of State. As head of the office of Empress Consort, he was in charge of Komayo's principal affairs and his political influence increased as laws issued by the office carried the same weight as imperial edicts. At the same time the power of Takibana no Moro, who had been backed by retired Empress Gensho until her death in 748, was in decline. Through this favoritism Nakamaro rose quickly in court ranked from 4th senior lower through 4th senior upper, 3rd junior, 3rd senior and 2nd junior rank in 750. Shomu abdicated in 749 in favor of his daughter, Princess Takano Haim, then Empress Kokon. While being an independent and strong-willed woman who identified herself with the Chinese autocratic Empress Wu, during her first reign until 758 she would still be under the shadows of her father, retired Emperor Shomu and Komayo. She would favor the Fujiwara and particularly Nakamaro giving him lots of revenue and power by bestowing on him titles. When Moro publicly criticized Kokon at a drinking party in 755, Nakamaro and his followers forced him to retire. Nakamura's rapid rise through favoritism was seen with envy, even among the Fujiwara clan members and particularly by his brother Toyonari. Following Moroi's death in 757, his son, Takibana no Naramaro plotted to remove Fujiwara no Nakamaro and to overthrow Empress Kokon. But Nakamaro learned about it and had the main conspirators executed and his own brother Toyonari sent to exile in Dezaifu. In the same year, Nakamaro was appointed to Minister of Right and Minister of Office of Empress Consort, which oversaw military affairs of the country. Other positions he held during this time included Vice Minister and Senior Commander of the Middle Bodyguards. 
In 758, Kokan abdicated formally in favor of Emperor Yunin, a Nakamaro puppet, married to Nakamera's daughter. The title of the Minister of Right, held by Nakamaro at the time, was changed to Taiho and his name changed to Emino Oshikatsu. Nakamaro, at the peak of his power, went north to subdue the Ezo people and made plans to conquer the Korean Kingdom of Silla. On the 11th day of the first month, 760, Nakamaro was promoted from Taiho to Taishi and received the first junior rank, and in 762 the first senior rank. Conflict with Kokum Nakamera's authority started to decline when his main supporter, Komayo, died in 760 and Kokum started to play a more active role in politics. She would allow reigning emperor Yunin, who was supported by Nakamaro, to do only ceremonial and minor tasks, while she would handle all important governing issues including gratifications and punishments. This is expressed in an edict issued by Kokan in the sixth month of 762 stating, Henceforth the emperor will conduct minor affairs of state, but important matters of state, including the dispensation of awards and punishments, will be handled by me. Famines, epidemics and expenses for the planned invasion of Scylla and a new palace at Hora are added to the burden on the government. Furthermore Kokin had developed an intimate relationship with the Buddhist monk, Dokyo, who had healed her of some illness in the fourth month of 762. In the following year, the appointment of Dokyo to the third rank in the ecclesiastical hierarchy meant the displacement of Ji Kun, a priest close to Nakamaro. On a more general note, this conflict can be seen as a disagreement between two groups over the role of the emperor, with the one around Kokan favoring direct authority as in China at the time, while on the other side Nakamaro and his followers supported the practice of pre-Tenmu times where the emperor as high priest of Kami affairs was the spiritual leader of the country while actual political power lay in the hand of the leader of an imperial clan. Rebellion. In order to restore authority and prestige, Nakamaro planned a coup d'acute TAT. As head of the Middle Guards he seized control of the military in the capital and neighboring provinces, placing his sons in key position at the palace guards and as governors of Akaisen and Mino provinces, which were strategic for access to eastern Honshu. Two other sons he named to the Council of State. In return Kokan appointed Fujiwara no Masaki to middle councillor and had 69-year-old Kibi no Maki be brought back from exile. The latter had played a major role during the Hirotsegu rebellion and was an expert in Chinese strategy. He was put in charge with the preparation of forces and the reinforcement of defensive works at the Seta River, which would turn out to cut off Nakamaro from the eastern provinces. On the second day of the ninth month of 764, Nakamaro asked Kokin to name him supervisor of military messengers from the four provinces of the Kainé, the three provinces of the passes and Omi, Tamba, and Harima, to see whether the celestial bodies were aligned favorably for a rebellion. Nakamaro consulted the yin-yang master Otsuara who was associated with Prince Wake, a nephew of Emperor Yunin. However the astronomer leaked the plot and was rewarded with a promotion to the fourth rank. When Kokan tried to take the imperial seal and station bells from Emperor Yunin on the 11th day of the ninth month, events escalated. A struggle ensued as Nakamaro sent one of his sons to regain the objects. Kokan replied by sending two crack soldiers and eventually Nakamaro succeeded by ordering the captain of the middle guards to recapture the seals in travel passes. He named the elder brother of Fanado, Shioyaki the new emperor. Together with Shioyaki and carrying the signs of imperial authority, he left the capital for Omi. The former empress stripped Nakamaro of rank, position and surname. To prevent his flight to the east she had the three ancient barriers at Suzuka, Fuar and Araki closed. These marked the border to the eastern provinces. 
The army that she raised occupied the provincial headquarters at Omi and had the Seta Bridge burned, so that Nakamaro had to find another escape route. Fujiwara no Kurajimaro was sent as leader of an army against Nakamaro. The rebel army turned north towards Akizen province where he was counting on support from his son who was provincial governor. But again, Koken's forces were quicker and with the help of the local elite they had the governor killed and Araki pass blocked. Seeing no way for escape to the north or south, Nakamara's group tried to cross Lake Biwa on a boat but had to return due to adverse wind. Eventually it came to an archery battle on the 18th day of the ninth month from 1 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Miyozaki in Omi province. When Nakamara's side seemed to gain the upper hand, reinforcement from the capital arrived forcing the rebels to retreat. While trying to escape by boat, Nakamaro and his family were captured and executed. The rebel's head was taken as trophy to the capital. According to the Nippon Koki, a total of 375 people who participated in the rebellion were sentenced to the death penalty, but that was subsequently commuted to exile. Factors cited for the failure of Nakamera's rebellion include the envy and lack of support from within the Fujiwara clan. Also, despite his high position as supervisor of military messengers, unlike Koken, Nakamaro did not manage to gain support from local district magistrates who had a major part of military force, particularly fighters on horseback, under their command. Aftermath with her strongest rival out of the way, the retired Empress Koken was left in full charge of the state of affairs. In what Bender suggests to be a triumphal procession, in 765 Koken and other court members set out on a royal tour of the provinces of Kawachi, Izumi and Ki. Yanin, who had become emperor through Nakamera's support, was disliked by Koken. In the month following the rebellion, she issued a significant edict in which titular Emperor Yunin was accused of being in collusion with the rebel. She dethroned Yunin and degraded him to the rank of a prince. Together with his mother he was exiled to Awaji Island where conditions were appalling and on an escape attempt the ex-emperor was captured and killed. Koken became Empress for the second time as Empress Shotoku. As Empress Shotoku she surrounded herself with loyal people. Fujiwara no Toyonari, who had opposed and been exiled by his brother Nakamaro, was brought back from Dazaifu during the revolt on the 14th day of the ninth month and reinstated as Minister of Right. She promoted Dokio from junior 5th to junior 3rd rank, and in 765 made him Prime Minister Prelate. His authority was further increased on the 20th day of the 10th month, 766, to Buddhist king and on the 20th day of the 3rd month, 767 by creation of the imperial office for the Buddhist king. In titles he rivaled semi-legendary prince Shotoku and it also received officials in the manner of an emperor. However Dokio only held spiritual responsibilities. With Dokio's rise in power also came an active propagation of Buddhism. Following the rebellion, Empress Shotoku ordered the copying of the Tripitaka, Buddhist canon, and in order to pacify the souls of those that had died during the Nakamaro rebellion, had the higher commander Darini produce a large-scale commission of miniature wooden pagodas and wood block prints for distribution in provincial temples. The Fujiwara retained enough power to prevent a plan to raise Dokyo to emperor in 769, known as the Dokyo Incident. When Empress Shotoku died in 770 without leaving any children, they managed to break the imperial line of descendants of Emperor Temu, which they thought would always favor direct imperial rule over control by a non-imperial clan like the Fujiwara. Tokyo was sent into exile and several Fujiwara leaders were appointed to prominent government positions. According to Zakit, the political instability and threat to the imperial line of succession due to Tokyo during Koken, Shotoku's rule acted as a deterrent and Japan would not see another female ruler for close to 1,000 years.